Hi, I'm Denshi, and I'm sure that you probably know about my YouTube channel because that's what you're watching this video on, probably, I don't know. But you can also watch my videos on alternative platforms, like for example, over here, my own self-hosted PureTube. When I first created this, however, I was faced with a predicament, as I'm sure many other people who make their own pure tubes are. How do I sync everything from my YouTube channel? So all the videos I've created over one of two years or so that I've been making them on this channel, how do I sync all of those to my pure tube? And the answer is in the CLI tools section of the PeerTube documentation. It's not an especially long guide and we're just gonna be taking a look at some basic functionalities, but with these tools, you can automate PeerTube to an extreme extent. You see that PeerTube supports a thing where you can upload a video, so go to the publish section. And if you enable this as the administrator, because by default it's disabled, but through the user interface of PeerTube, you can import videos with a URL. So you can put the URL of any YouTube video or daily motion video or whatever and import it. Of course, as long as you own it, you shouldn't take videos you don't own. Basically, the idea behind this is we can use this functionality and these scripts to just send an entire YouTube channel or a specific video to, well, a channel, let's say, named Billy Video. So I have this guy called Billy over here. His password is one, two, three, four, five, six, not exactly very secure, and his username is Billy. Obviously, this is getting deleted after this video. This is just for demonstration purposes because you're going to have to obviously put the username and the password to access the channel and upload videos to it from the terminal. And he has a channel called Billy Video right here and there's nothing on this, and we're gonna show you how to actually put things on Billy Video. Before we do any of this, if you're on Arch Linux or Debian or some other distribution thing, you can do this on BSD as well. You should probably consult the PureTube documentation on dependencies first. You have to install every dependency here except PostgreSQL and Redis. So in my case, I'm gonna go to the Arch Linux section, just go and copy paste this command. And then obviously I'm gonna get rid of, I don't actually need, you don't need Nginx, although you probably can get rid of, uh, yeah, Redis. I already have OpenSSL and PostgreSQL and FFmpeg. So basically it's just, yeah, I can get rid of most of these commands, so git, wgit. But if you don't have them, the only ones you should be omitting are Nginx, uh, PostgreSQL, and well, Redis, that's the three ones you don't need for these like tools to work. So I'm gonna just run that command and download the packages. It might take a little while, it's 25 megabytes, just give it a second and it's done. So now what I'm gonna do is go over back to the command line utility tools and we're gonna, first of all, we're in our home directory right here. So I'm gonna to want to clone the PeerTube repository because these tools are integrated into the actual PeerTube source code. So you can compile them from there. So I'm gonna git clone right here, this over there. It's gonna make, you know, the directory peer tube. It's gonna begin cloning everything to it. Just give it a second. Okay, so it's done cloning everything. Just go to the peer tube directory in our terminal over here. We're going to want to build a couple of things. So you're going to want to run this command over here to build everything. What I like to do with build commands is to, you know, put them there, then do and, and, and then run the next build command just right after it so I don't have to type it again. Just press enter and let this run. This might take a while, just like cloning the repository did. I guess GitHub is very, very slow today for some reason, but just let it load. Okay, so now it's all just compiled. Let's go to our PeerTube directory where we just were. And we can now run all the scripts. Now, just a fair warning, if you try to go to the disk server tools directory, which is where our scripts are located, there are all these like little JS files, and you try to run one, so node peertube.js, for example, that's the main script, you'll get an error because none of the modules are installed in this directory. You wanna go back, so just, you know, cd dot dot, cd dot dot, and cd dot dot back to the directory where you extract the repository and from here you can run node this server tools so of the directory where the tools are located peertube.js press enter and as you can see well, everything is here all the tools and stuff however it's not very efficient to do node disk server tools peertube.js every time you want to run peertube.js so instead what we're going to do is create an alias for it which you can do quite easily over here with this guide there's a little thing you can copy paste this over here just copy paste this and change your peertube directory to well your peertube directory which in our case is home alex peertube like that so enter 
And now if we type here tube into our terminal, you'll notice that it shows the bird from before and all the options, that kind of stuff. So it's basically running node this, this command, but we only have to type peer tube, which is much faster. In the meantime, let's take a look at how we import videos. So how you would import an entire YouTube channel or a video, just any URL with videos that something like YouTube DL can recognize. So in our case, we're just going to import a single video. I'm going to just go to a random channel. I'm going to use uh, Denshi YouTube, which is my old space related channel. I'm going to just copy paste a random video, this one right here, just copy link address. And I'm going to show you the syntax behind the import videos command. So it's peer tube import videos, or I believe you can just type import if you wish. Dash U is the URL of your instance. So in my case is videos that initial live. So HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash videos dot denshi dot live. Dash capital U is your username. So as we said before, our username is Billy, the password we set for Billy. So dash capital P is one, two, three, four, five, six, not exactly super secure, but you know how it is. We can do probably actually, I don't think it's capital P, I think it's lowercase p or dash dash password, but lowercase p will do. And then the last thing we have to do is our target URL. So dash dash target dash URL. And in this case, the YouTube video we want to download, or it can be a YouTube channel or a playlist or whatever, but you can basically upload all the videos that way. Now, if we press enter, Oh, I got an error because I forgot to put, you have to put little um, speech marks around URLs if you're going to be using the fish shell. It sort of requires that. You won't have this problem on bash though. So pressing enter. So barring any wild misunderstandings of the shells, it will begin downloading and uploading one video. It's important to clarify, this is downloading and uploading that video, not from your computer, but in the same way it would do it if you click publish and then click uh, import with URL. You don't have to worry about this script downloading a bunch of videos to your computer, basically. And as you can see, it's done. If we reload our page, you'll see that the video has been successfully downloaded. And you'll see that we can watch it, we can you know scroll through it, all that kind of stuff, and we can check that the description is perfectly correct. We've got the thumbnail and all that kind of stuff. And yeah. Now, if I were to import an entire YouTube channel, I'm just gonna do this for example. I'm not actually gonna import one. So Denshi YouTube, that's my old space channel. If I were to import that, it will begin looking through every single one of the videos on it. So, and it's gonna download all of them and upload them. I'm gonna cancel this command because I don't wanted to do that. But if you wanted to do that, then you can do it. If I wanted to watch a pure tube video, all you have to do is pure tube watch dash G your player choice. So MPV and then the URL, but I'm not going to waste time with that right here because it's not exactly super essential to what we're doing. What I'm instead of going to do is show you how to upload a file that you have on your computer to pure tube. So I'm going to quickly go grab one. I'm going to grab one of the most viewed videos, actually the most viewed video on my entire channel, which is just use Thunderbird. It's uh, right here. Copy paste that over here. And now I'm going to upload it. So pure tube uh, up. So pure tube up, just type that in, you'll get these errors right here. So obviously dash dash URL or just dash U is our instance. So that's going to be videos.denshi.live dash dash username or dash just U. That's going to be Billy. And then uh, dash P is one, two, three, four, five, six, because that's Billy's little things. Go back to the website. I don't know why I left it. Uh, dash F or dash dash file is for the file. So that's going to be well, uh, just use Thunderbird. I think it's gonna give us an error. Yeah, we need a video name. So dash dash video uh, name is gonna be just just use Thunderbird. Uh, maybe just without the with just the dot at the end. And pressing enter, it should be able to download this. File path should be absolute. All right, then we have to do um, slash home Alex peer tube, and that's where just use Thunderbird is located. All right, now pressing enter, it should begin to upload it. And there you go, it uploaded it. That was quite quick. And as you can see, it's that's, that's a horrifying little thumbnail it generated, but it loaded the video up here and we can watch it. We can, you know, listen to my irritating Just. voice talk about Thunderbird. There it is. That's how you can upload files from your local computer or an entire YouTube channel to a PeerTube account. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been Denji. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.